Okay, so there I am on live TV doing a demonstration and it just goes horribly wrong. And I'm like, oh my goodness, just carry on, just carry on. And then do another video later and show how it's meant to be done. Hi, I'm Marian Emberson. And I'm going to show you this lovely technique that should have been shown properly on the craft store the other day. Um, I really like this technique because it's using stencils in a slightly different way. Um, it's sort of using them in the opposite way to how we normally use them. And I just think it creates like a great background. It's really lovely. I'm going to do it slightly differently. Um, because I want to use a different uh, powder. But this one, I just want to show you what I did use. So I'm still going to use the Dancing Smoke, which is the stencil in the background there. I also used, oh, these are just beautiful. These are the A Pocket Full of Happiness Tropical Paradise dyes. The most beautiful, beautiful flowers. So I've just done a couple here and layered them up. And then this lovely fern leaf or fronds I suppose I don't know what it's called actually but just done a few embossed on there in the copper teal and it and left some plain and it just looks beautiful um and for the embossing there I used the winter water from the winter wonderland trio by Joe Firf Young so I'm gonna say as I, I'm gonna say as I say I'm gonna do it slightly differently just for speed etc so let me just get myself together. Okay. Right, what you're going to need is you need a stencil, piece of cardstock. I've already cut these out from my Tailored Expressions dies. I love these, the little stacklets. They just, I just love them. Really, really love them. And they just sit on there so perfectly. And then you can just die cut another one put a piece of tape on it, fold it over, you stick that to the back and then you've made yourself a card. So just from three pieces of cardstock, just brilliant. Um, we're gonna need some embossing powder. This time I'm gonna use Seth Apter's um, Silver Smudge, it's called, I have to say that slowly, Silver Smudge from the Alchemy Trio. I love this colour. It's just so beautiful and it's lovely for Christmas. Really, really nice. So I'm going to get that out. The other thing you're going to need, let me just move a few things here. Because the other thing ooh, is this baby. So you're going to need your die cutting machine. You, you work out what layers you do it with, etc. Because everyone is going to be totally totally different i normally have it all written down but for some reason i've lost that so it could go horribly wrong again <laughs> let's see um but you're gonna need to work out how you have your tabs open if you have tabs um your plates so i have um my tab open to tab one i have one of my base plates down then I'm going to put my stencil down, then my card on top. And I'm using, these are the Spellbinders tan mats. I'm using two of these. Now, you can get different ones and they might be a slightly different thickness. As I say, it is a bit of trial and error. And I played around for a while just getting it right for my machine. So everyone's machines are different. Okay. Okay. So I will come back to this in just a moment. You'll also need a brayer. You're also going to want your um, embossing ink. So I've got my powder ready. I've got my background. And then most importantly, I've got my stencil. So let's just take this little guy out. And what we're going to do... Oh. Let me get rid of all those little bits on there. Okay. I would recommend working with a clean stencil. <laughs> I'm just setting myself up for disaster again, aren't I? Okay, so we're going to 
start getting ink on our brayer and then I'm just going to transfer that onto the stencil. So let me just get lots and lots of ink on there. I could take the ink pad and I could do this. I'm just in a habit now of when I work with the WOW ink pad, I just love using a brayer. Okay, so lots and lots of ink on there. Let's just make sure we've covered all of that. Let's get that out of the way. Now I'm gonna bring my machine back in again. Take that off. Got to remember how I've done it. <laughs> right, so it's base plate, then me clear plate. Then I've got my stencil that's all linked up. And this is where I've done it wrong on the TV. I actually put it on the stencil and then lifted the stencil to the machine. You don't want to do that. So I'm just going to lay that on there. Then I put the rubber mats on. And then I put another plate. Ooh. Try not to touch it too much over the top and then I'm gonna run it through oh I don't know if you hear that I love that sound okay so let's just move all this back out of the way and see Oop, what we've got okay let me just so I should, that's all embossed beautifully. And then I'm just gonna throw this. You could do the multicolor embossing on this, which would just look gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. That's so much better. Okay, I probably handled my card a little bit before, so I could take a tiny, tiny pointy paintbrush and just touch those little bits I've got to stop handling I'm always preaching to people to not handle their card because any moisture will be picked up with the powder but if you're going for a rustic look anyway it doesn't really matter so a gentle little tap and then we pop that back in there all left with a nice little pattern there let's just get rid of that for now i'm going to pop my lid on so i don't have any accidents and then i'm going to heat set this from underneath okay i missed a little bit I could always actually just go in. In fact, I might just do that because I'm being ultra fussy. I am my own worst enemy. Who else is like me? Does anybody else beat themselves up when things go wrong? It was really funny because Julie Hickey had watched the show and she said to me, she said, I could see in your face how distraught you was that it hadn't gone right. <laughs> I said, I know. I said, I was really beating myself up over it. I, said, <laughs> I get so angry with myself. Okay. And, and that's it, basically. It's as simple as that, <laughs> she says. <laughs> so where's my little base cards that I'd already cut? So now I'm just going to put this onto my lovely scallop base. Get a bit of double-sided. It's just such a nice technique. It's just such a lovely way to get more out of your stencils. I just, I love anything that we can get extra out of. What's lovely about Seth's powder is, 
it's really textured. It's lovely. And there's other little colours in there. It's, it's beautiful. I really, really love this. Okay, so I've mounted that on there. As I say, I already cut out another panel. So I cut two from this one and one from this one. I've folded it over and then I've put a piece of tape on the top there. Let me just take that off. And then I'm just going to line that up so I know it's going to open. Right, so I stick that along there and then I've got that as a little card so I can write in there. And it just makes it look a little bit different as well. It's nice. I then also went ahead and used the Snowy Christmas stamps. And this time I've done this in the um, the Winter Water from the Winter Wonderland trio. Stamped and embossed that. I mean, that embosses beautifully. Absolutely gorgeous. Put some little pads on there. And then I'm just going to stick that across. So really simple. You could just do loads of these. Line yourself up for Christmas. Keeping it just really, really simple. I'm just going across there like so. And there we go. You could have a little snowflake coming out. Oh, I just thought of that, actually. <laughs> that would have looked nice. A little snowflake coming off there and a little snowflake coming off there would look nice as well. So... Yeah, so that's how you rectify a mistake on live TV. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, I'd love I'd love to hear from you. I'd love a comment. If you've got a question, I'd love a thumbs up. That would be really, really nice. Um, and what would be even nicer is if you subscribed. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon. Bye.